I roll a seven or I, I'm rolling a, stupid. I'm rolling. Hey, welcome back. Stas23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And now you already know who's here. So I ain't stupid. Plus, <laughs> if I roll a, a seven, I get to take a knife home. Sure. Oh boy, that was close. <laughs> yeah, at first that, I was like, ooh, I had to do the little I was like, I was like, there. man, that was close. Yeah, that that would be my luck because I I don't have any luck if y'all hadn't noticed. Yeah, I, that started long ago with us. But uh, birth canals. <laughs> yeah, straight out, straight out the womb. Uh, so you what know you, what you got in your pocket today, so I could uh, entertain these folks. I, I I traded this this video off for some. And it'll work. You know, I got I got to pay him well. somehow. Since I don't get any money from YouTube, I got to I got to pay him. It was a cool process to watch him and notice and try to hit hit all these colors. Yeah, for some reason, that's what type is that? Uh, I, I'm not gonna say if you could guess it in the comments, you get a high five. <laughs> you get out of boy. Yeah. Uh, today I had the um, the Emerson Mini Sheepdog. In the pocket. Great, great little knife. I was so surprised that the uh, the, the the flipper tab threw me off because when I was looking for Emerson. Yeah, they don't. The, have, that's the, the flipper tab kind of threw yeah, me off. Yeah, it, it is pretty gigantic, but, but the, it doesn't bother the me. The action on this Emerson is just a beautiful thing. Yeah, on bearings, it it, it is super smooth, and they they got to be carbonized in the lock face because <laughs> I've never had an Emerson that didn't come with pretty severe lock stick. And that one has absolutely none. I haven't, uh, I, I didn't think that they, uh, did knives on bearing. I'm not no knife, uh, what it is it, like, professor. But <laughs> no. I didn't think Emerson did knives on bearings because they don't of that, do that tactical. They, they, you know what else they have? Type. They got the CQC7, their most popular model That's to date. Is not, they got one on bearings. Really? They do one on bearings on that. They do one on bearings on this one, and I think another model. I don't know. I'm not. I don't. I'm not an all-knowing Emerson. I guy. am very impressed with Emerson, though, since I've owned one. You know, before I, I'm not that tactical. I'm cool, but <laughs> I will. That that's debatable. I don't know about that tactical, but uh, you know, I, I just say, like I just like a good American-made product. They are an excellent tool. I mean, they're tried and true, dude. He 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 makes knives for some of the the baddest individuals in the world like who he, seals yeah right oh. i said bad well, anyway that's like the size of this one is very very yeah, hey, very nice now too. have you ever seen a mini besides the a100 that's actually mini <laughs> usually his minis are normal size yeah i think mine like my main, my mine. mini commander's a, a normal size knife right that's a mini that that's a a four inch handle and a like a i think it under three inch blade the mini sheepdog threw me off because i'm thinking of a sheepdog like a like the kaiser, kaiser sheepdog, sheepdog or something like that so but this has been out way before that knife yeah i know but no actually i don't know not well yeah i think it has the regular version anyway, so that overall that, I, I like this one that's what was in my left pocket and in my right pocket i have because it's this is the next up for review is the uh the wingman edc mt and t mach one abcd yeah man that's the longest you know that's the time mayo collaboration um you know i love them buck mayos because you know i ain't never been able to handle a, a custom mayo or anything yeah we did remember when we were at blade show that last time you came whenever brian was trying to sell all his stuff yeah but i don't remember at that that tri-city whatever yeah maybe but I mean, we'll never own one, but <laughs> they're uh, just out of our price range. Right. Does he still make now? Oh, yeah, he makes them now. I think he's the only the, one of, you know, the few that still do completely handmade. His designs are awesome. The Bucks uh, versions were awesome. Yeah, I still got one. Any other collabs he does? No. I mean, I was surprised that he did one at all. Cause, but, at, that, you know... Makers tend to do a collaboration in the beginning of their career, like Strider did. Now, yes. Buckwood must have been like the we of today. Right. Because you had Strider that did their collaboration with them. You had uh, Buck, I mean, Mayo, uh, McGinnis, uh, who else? Using LMAX, that's uh, something that you don't see very much anymore. No, the, 
it, the main reason why I think most most companies don't use them is because you got to nail that heat treat, and if you don't, like, there was another American company that oh, we, we 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 used to buy knives from that uh, that did L Max on a lot of blades, and they had a lot of problems with burning the heat treat, burning the edges on it, and I think it that was, was like right when I was getting into. It. Uh, learning about metals and yeah, all that. Yeah, but I will say, I had the my other knife that I have L Max currently is my Quiet Carry IQ, and that was that was heat treated at Peter's Heat Treat, and that knife holds an edge forever. I did, I think I actually showed that testing forever. video. Forever. <laughs> forever. But anyway, uh, what you think about? Aside, what uh made you pick this this not well, the model but these uh. This, what the is line that? of lock is version that, is that carbon? It, it it looks like that fat carbon, but it, it's a G10. It's a layered G10. Oh, huh. Now I it ended feels up way lighter. Than it's because it's got only got a, it's got a thin liner, a lot titanium liner on one side, and that's it. And it's all G10. I like that they got a titanium liner. Now I like how everything matches the the. I don't. I'm not a huge fan of this B blast. No, I, I. But at least it's a tumbled B blast. That's, yeah. That's, but as long as everything matches, it's pretty sweet. I like how they blind screw that pocket clip. I've heard, I mean, seen videos of people with these knives, and the titanium made uh, just an awesome sound. Yeah. Now I was gonna get the titanium one, but I wanted to try. I wanted to make sure I like the overall feeling in hand, and I got this one. So now I definitely want the the titanium. What do you think about the the, the both of the opening methods? It's awesome. I like the design. The the, the detent is a little stiff on mine. It's very fidgety, uh, and it's I don't know. Super I, smooth. I probably don't like the price, and probably don't know what it want to cost. It's not terrible for them. One hundred eighty dollars. Okay, that ain't terrible. I but mean, that's, that's getting up there. Though. Yeah, but you think about okay. For instance, my that drop oaks knife that you know I'm talking about the liner lock. It's one hundred eighty dollars. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm just saying, like this is Riot made. Just the cost of knives is getting yeah a little outrageous. Bit ridiculous. Yeah. It, yeah, it's crazy to think, you know, that I, you know, look at $180, it's, it's, it's not bad. Now, I, it's still expensive. I ain't no doubt about yeah. it. So that's what I was mean, in. you could go buy a DeWalt drill set for $180. Yeah. What was it? What was in your pocket today? Uh, I, I I just got my uh, Spidey shit. Well, I know, I know one of the main, and the other one he one, t- had taken apart. One of my favorite knives, too. Yeah, it's a good knife. I, I still want to chop mine. This, this particular model version of it has the titanium hardware i'm pretty sure look mine's got the same hardware yeah but yours ain't titanium bro i don't think either one of them are titanium really i think um no th- see mine's got the uh, the difference between mine and yours i got the yeah, ceramic the, ball yeah the ceramic ball detent well, and see i think they we do have the same hardware but they got away from they got away from this hardware yeah because it was too one. expensive they 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 but the, the CQI they they did the black uh, they coated the the marine grade stainless I think right. and I think everybody was complaining about that model because of the uh, stainless steel ball yeah detent ball because it didn't make sense because they it, put a ceramic one in it this was one. supposed to be like a, a rust proof knife and you so got this a is supposed to be the CQI ball. what's that stand for C- uh, quality uh, constant quality uh, improvement. improvement yeah well they improved this one. That's one cool thing about the only thing. I want to do a heavy stone wash on it, dude, because you know it scratches. So <laughs> look, well, hey, you want to see a, a, a fail that I was telling you about? Look, and I, I'll show it on camera. I, 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 look, not all mods work, people, and here's a big fail. I hadn't sharpened this one yet, and you probably gonna be like, "Oh man, I like that knife." <laughs> That's a big fail. What look, happened? <laughs> I cut the. Remember the little circles? I wanted to be able to use this hole. And look at how heavy the stone. Well, I hadn't sharpened it yet, but it's super smooth. And it's not a fail for me because that's going to be a shop knife for me, and that's what I was going for. But it almost be blessed. Look. Yeah, that's how well, I left that one in the stone washer like for like over 30 minutes. You need to put it back in there and leave it forever. Nah. nah. <laughs> oh, and you notice I cut did this cut out too? Yeah. <laughs> Not terrible though. It it works. I like being able to use it. You couldn't use this before, 
you can only now the front flipper works better too because it used to hurt my hand and it took the, the rough edges off that front front flipper and I can actually do it did now. The uh, stone wash. Did you polish this up or something? Yeah, that that spot right there, and then this right here. That's that was already on there before I, when I was cutting something. All right, well it's just a fail for now until you you get back in the you know doing something with it. Anyway, so where are we at? Okay, now this one. I thought we just did that one. Did we? No, we didn't. That was on our. That was on our. Uh, oh, no. uh, just talking, because we were going through the blades in our pocket. No. All right. Now this one, I just finished testing this one, and I tested it with eight other blades. This thing did phenomenal. That's M390. That is the uh, Monterey Bay knives old guard. Very nice. Very nice and plain, and I like that. I like that where they yeah. billboarded, and, which now, a lot of people companies are. Getting away from. I know you like that carbon fiber, huh? Putting all this stuff on there. Yeah, that's that's from the design of the, the person who designed I it. I know, though. but like Emerson, they kind of got a lot of uh, tattooed on there. Yeah. But anyway, but this just looks like it's a just old a clean. Tool. Like yeah. A, well, I guess that's where they get the old guard from. But this uh, carbon fiber is what's got it's me. It's the OG. <laughs> this got me in love with it because uh, the texture. You feel the, the the each. What's that woven? Woven? How you say that? The yeah, the weave. The weave. The weave. Get I like a, weave, I girl. I like a good weave, you know. Now this is even another cool thing that they did. This titanium, the backspacer, that's in t it's integral to the knife. Yeah. So it's all one piece. So. I like carbon fiber too. You see, I got that weave in my finger. Oh, he's talking about that ring, people, not the fat sauce's fingers. Oh yeah. Um, so. Even though this knife wasn't perfect, it it, can't, it had a couple of flaws to it that you got, you had got, to get... You got this beef against Monterey Bay. You had a couple issues with a few of their knives, if I recall. What? No, that wasn't my knife, though, that last oh. one. Uh, but great people, I'll tell you. Sanford over there, super awesome customer service. I will definitely I like where they continue put the, to do uh, business with them. M390, too. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't even know. He had to find it for me. Um, all right, I got one for you. What, what about... It's the wood that makes it good. Oh, yeah. You didn't tell them that this was surprising to me. What? That this was uh, one piece. I just said, boy, oh. I see people, he don't listen. I know. It's that old age, you know. He he, he put him in a wheelchair, and then he just can't even talk. Okay, yeah. now look. It's the wood that makes it good on this one. What do you think about that? Uh, what is that, desert iron wood? <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's that uh, al alpaca wood. Alpaca. Alpaca is an animal, Where you but get it's that pack of wood. That I uh, got it from Knife Center. Uh, you know, I had that micarta version, and it's in that long lettered steel. Yeah, you're becoming a CJRB fanboy, huh? Tell you what, they are pretty impressive for the budget range. Still, that was like forty-seven dollars, fifty or fifty dollars, something like that. Is that washers or bearings? Bearings. Huh. And this one, what's different besides the wood on this one? From the micarta version, that was I think the same price as the, it comes with this upgraded titanium mill pocket clip. Oh yeah. It looks way better than the original. Now I will say this one doesn't function as good as the original, so I don't know the trade-off. It's just super super tight. What do you think about the knife in general, though? I like the design. Uh, I, I I don't own any wood handled knives, but. I don't have any. That's the only reason why I got it. I don't own any wood handle knives besides my Sabenzas. Overall, what's the price on it? I'll tell you if I. I think it's forty six bucks. Not bad. Not I mean. The steel's pretty good for a budget steel. Yeah. But you know that's one that I already had on the channel. Um, now this is one that I, you know I've been wanting for the longest time, just never could pull the trigger. That's that's one I'm glad you pulled the trigger on, so I get the handle. Now this. Matches my Sabenza 31 with that, uh, what is it? Coca Bola? No. <laughs> box Elder, maybe? Elder Box. Elder Boxes. <laughs> Something like that. Something I don't like know. that. <laughs> yeah. Where, but where's your uh, the other one? The 31? Yeah. It's in my room. I, I so carried is this, is this uh, uh, have they updated this one? Um, yeah, along with the, like they did the 31s? No. The only thing that, this this is the same as it's been for several years now. I, I kind of wish it still had the old S30V, and because those had the sharper 
they left this little groove sharp to where it was easy to one hand deploy it and it's just it's just slick now yeah i like the different uh tones of the titanium b blast yeah that, texture. That, i always like that that's that's the common way you open this right yeah or or the grandpa the grandpa way with the but the, i have to say just if 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 i this is an awesome size shape yeah that and that's not, what if somebody just wants something very nice to cut something like we were talking off camera, camera every day. that that right there, in my opinion, could be the ultimate EDC knife. Just for normal everyday tasks, not hard use. It's a perfect size. It's it. comfortable. Nope. It, it's lightweight, only, super smooth. Only method. Now look, you tell me. I think when when people talk about Sabenza smooth, that's what that's what oh, they yeah. need to be talking about. Yeah, that is stupid smooth. You don't feel any. It just, thing. It, it's, it just it, glides. It's so, it's, that's satisfying, opening and closing that thing. Yes, yeah, well done, well done. Now, I can't wait to actually use that one. Are these priced a little bit below the 31? No. Oh. Still, well, it's about it's the same as a small Sabenza. Huh. And, I don't and know. Especially with, the, with the, the, the better woods. Blades way thinner. Yeah. And lightweight, it just feels like there's nothing. Yeah, it's just a good classic shape. I mean, Sabenza does that well, you know. I mean, Chris Reeve does that well. They're classic, you know, timeless blade shapes that have just been around forever. You know, they're not reinventing the wheel on anything. Yeah. Just, just well-made knives. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. So we talked about. Oh, what about you? Grab the CJRB right here. You didn't talk about this one. I'm sick of CJRB. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. It's a. Uh, it's okay. That's 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 designed by. Remember that girl uh, that worked at Smoky Mountain Knife Works Swags that Swag. we met. I think you were with me that year, huh? Uh, no. Maybe not. She worked for Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And it's Swags uh, here. Yeah, I think I remember. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Well, she has a YouTube channel, too, and she does, uh, like, Facebook and stuff like that. Real real nice uh, girl. I met her last year at Blade Show at the Smoky Mountain Knife Works podcast. And what's she what, Get to the bottom of it. No, I just, I, just saying, I, you know, it's cool to see somebody like that come out with a knife. It gives me hope, you so know. So you think she designed it, or you think they just got her name and put it on No, it? I knew she was, she was in, she's got a few designs she's doing. Um, got a good action. Yeah. Now. What, what's the price on this? I think it was either in the 40s or 50s, something, 40, I think, 40-something. Uh, or 35, I don't know. This, but you got a collaboration, you got to pay for a collaborator, too. Yeah. Now, put it in hand and tell me what you think about ergonomics first, it's first impressions. It's been in my hand. No, like you were gonna cut something. What you think about it? It's not exciting to me. That that forward part kind of feels like it would pinch your hand, right? Like a like a, a Ontario Rat Model Two. It makes me feel awkward. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Now look, and then, this is why <laughs> you should see his face. It looks like he's constipated right now. But look, this is why I like to actually test and use my knives before I give my review. Because my first impressions, I thought this was going to be terrible in hand because it feels funny like this. But as I use this and cut, cut stuff with it, I noticed that this ball part right here, I was pulling back on this and my hand wasn't, my finger wasn't even in that spot because it's a small, like two and a half, three finger grip. And that didn't cause any issues whatsoever. And then I was worried, see how the, the lock sits proud, it sits above that. And how it's thin. I thought whenever I squeezed, because I had another one that, that did hurt, it doesn't bother you at that, all. It, that just strikes me, and no offense to the ladies out there, I love the ladies, but it just looks like a girl knife to me. Well, that, I, I think she designed it for that, because they so got what them. what you bought it for? They got, because I'm, I'm a reviewer. Oh. But you know how they got them small pockets on their jeans? I think that's what, I think that's what this was designed for. Them, like kind of like you, your jeans, those little skinny jeans you where, wear, where, where the small and them pockets. cowboy boots you wear. There's those Sam I mean, he, he Copper Dice likes to wear those real, real tight fitting jeans that. Well, I ain't gonna go any if further. If you like this video, subscribe with a thumbs up. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. 
tell Copper Dice that he's... If I roll what number? If you roll any number, you got to get the hell out of my house. No, if I roll a, <laughs> a four, I get to take this home for a little while. Oh, uh, close again. He's always close, but just not close enough. I do like this knife, though. Yeah, that, that one's got a great action. All right, peace, y'all. So, all right, guys and girls, hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.